Okay, now all of these websites uh, basically uh, operate the same way and they all have the same theme active in them. So let's just visit this site. I'm going to open it in uh, a new tab so uh, so this one remains available to me. So this is the Autoboss site. It's the front page of the Autoboss site. It's important to remember that each of these websites is a standalone site in itself but they are connected through a common user database, a user list. So uh, that allows um, users to have access to one or more of these subsites at different levels and that allows us to do all sorts of cool things. So the elements on this front page are basically the defaults from one of the template pages um, and uh, we can edit this page to see how it's constructed. Um, generally for, for, for the other sites I've also got another link here which leads back to the main site but for this particular um, auto boss site it's uh, it's being set up for a presentation so so I, I haven't put that link in there mainly because the other main site isn't isn't quite ready yet um, and this one needs to be ready in a couple of days so it's got a front page and a blog page that may be removed as well but these are just that's just a, a menu there okay so if, if we edit this page um, we're going to have a look at the structure of this page Okay, now um, the theme that is used for this website is called Divi and it has a visual page layout uh, builder here which is a little bit different from a standard WordPress installation as well. As you can see this is all in the editor. You have to be careful that you don't click this button here because um, um, as you can see, uh, all the content created in Divi Builder will be lost, so you don't want to do that. Close that. Okay, so um, these elements here correspond to the elements on the page. So this blurb here with some text under it um, corresponds to, um, just let this yeah, that blurb there and this text underneath. Um, and what what a blurb is, um, it's just an element that we can we can uh, select from a library, and we'll show that a bit later on. Just so happens that this particular element has not much in it except for an image, which is defined there. Yep. See, there's nothing else there, and it happens to be called blurb. We can call that anything we like doesn't matter. Okay, so you've got uh, an image here, you've got some text, and you've got two columns here. As you can see, you can um, have a variety of layouts on the one page. So we're going from two elements, one below each other, uh, basically um, not full width, but w within the width of the website. Um, and then you've got uh, a two column layout and then you actually have a full width slider. So this see this purple thing here, that's a full width slider. And you can put other things in that full width section as well. So what that means is that, um, let me get down to that full width, that's this bit here. This is actually, as you can see, these elements are right out over there at the edge of the, at the, edge of the screen whereas the other content is bounded by the width here. So, so you've got, um, a, I suppose, two full width options. You've got this full width, and then you've got the, the, the full screen width, if you like, that you can choose to structure your website content. Um, as you can see, there's little animations that happen as the, the, the screen scrolls down here, um, and they're, they're quite cool. They're built into the theme nice little sort of numerical representations and graphical uh, animated representations which are really professional looking. Um, okay so back to the edit page so effectively each of these elements relates to one of the things that um, that you see on, on, on the front page so for example here there's an image and a divider some text and three blurbs now what would that be? Let's see, just scroll down here. Oh yes, this is it. The image of these two uh, portable devices and then the text here like that. So as you can see, there's a lot of interesting 
and f uh, interesting flexibility that's available here. Just just taking an example, this image, and I can insert a new model here below this image, and this will just show you what you can do. So uh, here comes a, a, a pop-up um, um, library, if you like, and uh, you've got accordions, blogs, counters, putting in HTML code if you need, a gallery, all kinds of stuff. Um, contact form if you wish. And, uh, and so you just click on these and then you edit the settings, which is that line thing there. And it's all pretty self-explanatory. The, the, the main issue with this is actually um, having a look through to see what, what is actually available. But it's really, really flexible and very, very powerful. And this can be done on a page, um, and I believe it can also be done on a post as well with this new version of Divi. Okay, so in a nutshell then, that is how editing is done on a page. Okay.